my life has been a product of compound interest Warren Buffett. The elementary mathematics of compound interest is one of the most important models there is on earth Charlie Munger. Compounding matters and does so far more than people expect. The human brain thinks in a linear way which means that if we were asked to estimate what 10.22% compounded over 100 years would be, then our answer is likely to be closer to 1022% than 1,679,600%, something economists call exponential growth bias. This means that compounding is often underestimated and should be at the heart of long-term investing marathon asset management. Consider the Indians of Manhattan, who in 1626 sold all their real estate to a group of immigrants for $24 in trinkets and beads. For 362 years the Indians have been the subjects of cruel jokes because of it, but it turns out they may have made a better deal than the buyers who got the island. At 8% interest on $24, note. Let's suspend our disbelief and assume they converted the trinkets to cash, compounded over all those years, the Indians would have built up a net worth just short of $30 trillion, while the latest tax records from the borough of Manhattan show the real estate to be worth only $28.1 billion. Give Manhattan the benefit of the doubt. That $28.1 billion is the assessed value, and for all anybody knows it may be worth twice that on the open market. Either way, the Indians could be ahead by $29 trillion and change. What a difference a couple of percentage point can make, compounded over three centuries Peter Lynch. The Oracle of Omaha explained the perils of using debt and leverage in his 2017 annual letter to shareholders released on Saturday. Berkshire, itself, provides some vivid examples of how price randomness in the short term can obscure long-term growth in value. For the last 53 years, the company has built value by reinvesting its earnings and letting compound interest work its magic. Year by year, we have moved forward. Yet Berkshire shares have suffered four truly major dips he wrote. The investor shared the data which revealed Berkshire Hathaway's stock declined by a range of 37% to 59% multiple times over the last five decades. This table offers the strongest argument I can muster against ever using borrowed money to own stocks. There is simply no telling how far stocks can fall in a short period he wrote. Even if your borrowings are small and your positions aren't immediately threatened by the plunging market, your mind may well become rattled by scary headlines and breathless commentary. And an unsettled mind will not make good decisions.